Hello kindred spirits, this is Alison, your style rebel. And what am I committed to? That we actually have more fun and freedom with our fashion and in the meantime maybe get to save the planet and just be a little bit more wise and compassionate with the abundance of resources that we have. So hey, I've got my little sheer cardigan on. So once again, this is something that I work with with ladies. I've worked with, yeah, probably 10,000 ladies over the last umpteen years in the fitting room, discovering what style works for them. And some of us do better with larger prints. Some of us do better with smaller prints. Some of us do better with geometric prints. Some of us do better with messy watercolor prints. And that's outside the colors. Some of us do better with framing on our garments some of us do better with it without framing so there you go that's me adding framing in there and I'm definitely a framester and some do better with that so here's just a little fashion hack which I've shared before with cardigans so this one here is a sheer lightweight cardigan you can see through that there the beauty of these cardigans is that they create some architectural structure, they create some smoke and mirrors for our curvy bits, they create some nice strong vertical lines and also they're not really blocky because if we were to use a really solid fabric then we're starting to start to look like Mrs. Michelin. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Mr. Michelin is the tire man. So anyhow, so you can see that creates a little bit of visual smoke and mirrors but also it's light, but it creates a nice vertical line. So that's the cardigan there in its original state. Now, if you're beautifully proportioned between shoulders and hips, then what you can do is turn this upside down. So I've just simply turned this cardigan upside down. So the neck is now down on the waistline. I've popped my arms through. So you can see how that just mixes this up a little bit. So it makes it a lot more flouncy in the front there. You can see how that sculpted that up on the back. Once again, I wouldn't use that on a pear-shaped body traditionally, depending on whether you were pairing that back with, you know, a really, you know, extreme A-shaped skirt and so on. Anyhow, so you've got that there. You can just happily twist this here and broach that back into there. That forces a gorgeous, strong cow neckline there. Also, what you can do is because this fabric is so forgiving is just pick it up like so and literally tie a knot in it and that will force just a, a pretend rose there and actually I haven't cut off the tag on the inside but you can cut the tag off there which means that that just gives that a nice strong rose there on the neckline also what you can do is just take the bottom of this tie it up like so behind the neck and it'll create a little halter neck and take it into a shorter bolero structure so you can see that there now you can see how the one side's higher so that gets the eye back to the waist without actually using a belt and that creates once again some more visual confusion there like so and then Alison's lost in here. We're just going to cross this over like so. There we go. And so you could happily put that over. So you can imagine if I was pairing this over something black and once again more evenly proportioned on the hips here for my gorgeous slim hip sisters. So there you go. Once again, some abstract fashion funkiness. And then I'll just undo this here and with this as well what you can happily do is just if you're the sort of body shape that can actually wear a belt you can just happily pair that back with the belt once again when you're getting a belt buy the ones if you're a little bit plus size buy the belts that are cut on the semicircle rather than straight that way they won't cut into you like a rubber band into a sausage so that's me just putting a little belt on there to sharpen that up. And once again, what I could do, I'm just going to step back here and 
so I could wear that underneath and if I was doing this on a pear shape I could actually just get a black cardigan and wear over the top of that so that'll just create a little bit of creative flaming framing there and I've got like so okay so more fashion ideas coming your way shortly I encourage you play with your fashion and look for some of us it'll do our head in doing anything other than the way we've been taught to use it I so encourage you experiment play and get inventive and actually really push the boundaries and see whether the way you're wearing your fashion is the only way it can be worn for you or whether indeed you can have a whole lot more fun with it, feel a bit more fulfilled and get some more mileage and looks out of your investment. So have a gorgeous day, keep experimenting and keep sharing the joy of what lights you up because that'll make the world a brighter place as well. Keep playing. See you soon.